So even though the soil is well watered, it tends to detach itself from the underlying roots or the roots seem to be damaged. I can take a rake and easily pull away the areas that are detached. The diseased areas are invading the healthy spots as opposed to the normal reaction of crapia for the crapia to just go and find its way almost everywhere. I have had no issue with the remaining portion of the heart. We just finished a hot summer of temperatures 110 to 115. I'm doing an experiment with planting healthy crapia in a pot with good soil and healthy crapia planted in pots with soil from the infected areas. The University of Arizona is doing a project on Camelback Coast Course behind my house. This area here, the first area, was placed about two years ago. There are some dead spots here that I don't know if are related to my issue in my yard.